Hey guys, um, so I've wanted, I've wanted to make this uh, video for a while now because I constantly get messages on Facebook and YouTube. You know, what do I need to do to make my gun awesome? You know, or custom. Um, and what gun should I buy to upgrade? Is a common question. And what do I do? What do, what parts should I get for from scratch build? And I'm going to address all three of these questions. Now the first question. What do I need for my gun to shoot fast? Or yeah, generally these questions are for that question is for high speed. What do I need to do to make my gun shoot fast? All right. Now there are plenty of videos on this, so I'm going to be brief. You need let's see one, two, three, four major components that are essential to a high speed gun. One, the motor. Um, I do not like high speed motors. They run hot. They're inefficient. They're they're, they're not crisp, they take a long time to wind up. So, high torque motor, you need a low ratio gear set, 13 to 1 or 16 to 1, although 16 to 1 is not worth it for me because the actual ratio of 16 to 1 gears, SHS, are a lot closer to 17 to 1, which is very close to 18 to 1, which is the stock ratio gear. So, high torque motor, low ratio gears, um, that's two, you need a strong piston. SHS pistons work great. Um, or Lonex pistons work great, and you need a MOSFET because you're going to run an 11.1. Don't come up to me and say you want a high speed gun to use with a 7.4 LiPo. Um, if you want that, you're going to need to do a DSG if you want something like 40 RPS with a 7.4 LiPo. It's just not going to work out, or you're going to need to use a DSG, which would not do it justice, you know, to use a 7.4 LiPo and a DSG. Why do a DSG? So, motor, low ratio gears, piston, MOSFET. So, now I'm going to, this next question, what gun should I get, or what gun should I get to do a custom gun, um, we'll kind of go referring back to the first question. Now, I always tell my customers, get a GNP, GNP, best guns, best base guns for uh, custom guns, you know, best, just best thing you can do. These two right here are upgraded GNPs, and I will go into each of them. But that doesn't mean that GMPs are great out of the box. In fact, I would take a stock classic army over a stock GMP if I were not to upgrade it. What you need to change on GMPs. Ironically, these are the same parts you're going to need to change to do a high speed gun. The motor. Now, GMP motors are notorious for. Toys isn't the right word. I'm tired, I'm sorry. GMP motors suck. Now, this is the motor that comes in all stock GMPs. It is an M120 high speed motor. Now, these motors are ferrous magnet motors, which means they are weak. These cannot pull heavy springs, especially on low ratio gears. And that's what you want, right? So, you're going to get rid of this motor. This is a ferrous magnet high speed motor. Why would you do that? High speed motors need to be neo magnets so that they can have some power. Alright? It's basically like there's like a little elf in here spinning a wheel. I mean this this motor is worthless. Another thing, the pinning gear on this motor. Let me put it against the white surface. The pinning gear on this motor is the weirdest shape ever. Now I'm gonna compare this to an SHS pinning gear. And I'm sorry for the horrible camera work. You can't tell. Okay, I'm just gonna tell it to you then. These pin, this these pinning gear, this pinning gear is very narrow and long compared to an SHS. That means that it is not going to sound good when paired with SHS gears, JG gears. Pretty much any gear set out there, it's going to sound like shit with this pinion gear on it, no matter how you shim it, because the angle, it just doesn't match the angle on the bevel tee. And ironically, not ironically, sorry I'm tired <laughs> again, um, and surprisingly, the stock JG GMP gear set, the bevel does not mesh well with the stock GMP bevel. Pinion, fuck. <sighs> so, get rid of that. Two, the gears. This is GMP sector gear. These gears are brittle. Okay? I feel like I could break this with my hand. It is just brittle. These things are not going to last on high speed or 
even in stock setups, these strip. Um, these shafts are also known to break. Have been reported several times on airsoft mechanics. These shafts are weak, so get rid of the gear set. Just, just get rid of it. Get a JG gear set. Um, if you want 1801, get an SHS gear set. If you want, you know, high speed gun, if you're gonna upgrade, I would just go with the new 2013 SHS parts. They're excellent. Piston. Now, this piston isn't that bad. The piston itself, not the piston. Right? Piston has a different story. The piston itself is not that bad. In fact, if I were to work on someone's stock gun and their piston was stripped, I'd be fine with throwing this piston in here. It's not that bad of a piston. This piston head has been known to explode, literally, just shatter. Um, horrible. Just the piston assembly itself, I would get rid of if you're going to upgrade, you know. Just get a full metal rack or get a Lonex piston. I'd just go for SHS, they're $10. Excellent pistons, they'll last forever. Um, but get rid of this. So, again, all that's left is the MOSFET and the wiring. In GMPs, the wiring is not that bad at all. There, it's pretty thick wiring. It's 16 gauge, but it's thick 16 gauge, thick insulation. Um, it's kind of a pain to work with, especially if you have a MOSFET. So I just and they come with weird uh, screw type connectors, which are better, but no motor uses them. So you have to change them. Uh, so what I do, and what I did in both these guns, is just completely replace the wiring with uh, 16 gauge um, wiring. It's a little bit thinner, and install the MOSFET. Now MOSFETs, you need them, especially if you're running an 11.1 volt. I would just get them in any gun though, just because it's more, it's a more efficient system than uh, the standard AG, you know, trigger contacts. You might as well be holding the trigger down and connecting and and disconnecting the uh, battery. I mean, it's kind of ghetto. So, there you go. If you have, that's the best thing to do if you want to get a gun and upgrade it. Get a GMP, replace all those parts um, with parts depending on the specs you want. Now, I'm just going to tell you what I've done with these two GMPs. This one, it's a Mark 8, GMP Mark 18, um, shoots 400 FPS at 40 RPS or 39 RPS. Um, I'm going to change the spring to a slightly lower spring which will give me 40 RPS but anyway so I have the new 2013 SGS high torque motor in here I have the 2013 SGS gear set, third 13 to 1 gear set with the 10 tooth bevel not the 9 tooth bevel uh, minus 3 stroke I have the uh, I have a Prometheus M135 spring um, I have a an SHS 15 metal tooth piston, lone XP on piston head, all the stock compression parts, um, scatter plot, sorbethane, 70 duro, uh, with the neoprene layer, and then modify, or not, I'm sorry, not modify, maple leaf, uh, 70 degree bucking. I also have McMaster car 16 gauge wiring and a Magic Mike uh, MOSFET, which I, I'm a distributor of. Go on our websites in the description to buy them. Um, Awesome gun, love it. This is the primary gun I use. That's what I did with this. With this gun, this is a GMP M16. Um, this one I kind of went for more of a stock, crisp uh, build. Lonex A2 motor, which I don't particularly like, but I had it laying around, so I threw it in there. It still has the um, stock pinion gear on it, which is why the shimming still sounds bad because it just doesn't mesh well with any gears. I have a uh, Bravo. Lonex gear set in here someone gave to me in return for tech work. I figured I might as well use it. It's an 18 one gear set. Although I wouldn't recommend buying those. They're just too expensive and they're not that great. Um, buy SHS or JG gears or ride SE gears if you want to spend that much money. Uh, I have a ZCI piston in here which I just bought kind of to test out. I still recommend SHS over them. SHS are just stronger. Um, M120 spring it's a stock spring. Um, ZCI piston head, which are they, they're fine. They're kind of cheap, and I feel like there's a high lemon rate. Like they have chips in them, maybe, and that would be bad for your air seal. And all the stock compression parts are the same. I have what are left, except for the piston head. I have sorbethane 70 duro padding with neoprene, and then McMaster car wiring, Mac Magic Mike MOSFET. This gun shoots about 25 RPS on an 11.1. 400 FPS. Uh, the stock bucking, stock hop up, everything. So, 
what I want to upgrade a gun, what do I get? GMP, those upgrade parts. Most of these, this was kind of awkward with all Onyx parts. Okay, from scratch build. I want, I have a thousand dollars. I want to build the best AEG out there. What do I do? All right. So, now, uh, you see a Lonix gearbox right there, don't you? Lonix gearboxes are great. However, I've heard from some that the newer ones, the ones with the closed ports, have some issues. Uh, I'm not aware of those, so I'm not going to address those. Um, but Lonix gearboxes are great. I also love GMP gearboxes. You can buy those aftermarket as well. So, gearboxes, that's what you should get. Gears, Ryan SC. I mean, if you're building a from scratch build, you might as well do it right. Get the most expensive parts. Right, SC gears, they, they run like silk, they never break, they're awesome. Uh, MOSFET unit, you can either just buy a super expensive MOSFET like a Chimera or the new Spectres or com Spectres are coming out, those are awesome too. Don't buy an ASCU, don't buy, um, don't buy a Raptor, although Raptors are okay, I guess. Just just buy a Chimera, Chimera, sorry. Um, or you can get a Cheetah, those are okay too, I guess, but they're not as cool. <laughs> um, here I have my from scratch build, but I'm just gonna go over you know other parts. Eight millimeter bushings or bearings. If you're gonna get bearings, get modified ceramics. If you're gonna get bushings, get modified eight millimeters, um, eight millimeter bushings. Wiring 16 gauge, unless you have uh, always. Even if you have a um, computer MOSFET, just get better wiring for it. Uh, Air seal components, Lonex are excellent. I like Lonex cylinders, I like Lonex piston heads, I like Lonex cylinder heads, I like Lonex air nozzles, I like Lonex um, hop ups. Lonex, especially if you have a Lonex gearbox, you want to keep everything that includes feeding the Lonex. The parts just work, to get, work better when they're to spec. And you need to remember that when you're building a from scratch build, don't buy so many parts that are. Um, different brands because then you'll have spec issues and then that'll lead to like feeding issues and you don't want that okay just remember that now you want to stick to TM spec parts also Lonex is TM spec GMP is TM spec this is not a GMP but it has a GMP body so you know you want to remember that um, so I went over gears I went over uh, wiring MOSFET compression pistons that's just pistons best bang for your buck work the work the best um, most durable. Lonex pistons are great too, but they're expensive. Um, yeah, you want to obviously do all the correct mods, correct AOE shimming. Obviously, that's beside the point. I mean, that's given. Motors. People like Lonex motors. I'm not a fan of Lonex motors personally, but people like them. Go for those or SHS. The new ones are awesome. I can't tell you how awesome they are in, over video. You just have to see them and feel them. I mean, it doesn't even get warm pulling 40 RPS. Oh, just awesome. Um, also, again, you'll spec issues with the pinion gears. Uh, SHS pinion gears work great with Riot SC gears and with SHS gears. So no matter what, even if you get a Lonex motor, I would change it to a D-Type and throw an SHS pinion gear on there. That's what I did with this gun. That's what you should do. Uh, what else? Pistol grips. You, you want to make sure that you don't have any misalignment issues, and if you do, you need to fix that. There are plenty of videos on that, too. Barrels. Um, there's a misconception out there that you need a really expensive barrel to have great accuracy and range. It's not true. Any the stock GMP barrels are excellent. Even SEMA brass barrels, those are excellent. Um, it's kind of tricky with from scratch builds because you generally want to leave your barrel assembly stock besides the bucking if you're having sealing issues. Uh, so with from scratch builds, I would kind of stick to the gearbox and type of plate and air nozzle brand you have with the hop up. I have a Lonex hop up in here because I have a Lonex gearbox. Okay. The bucking, just kind of experiment with different buckings, see what seals best. I have a Prometheus bucking in here, seals best with my Lonex air nozzle. Or Lonex bucking seal well with this uh, air nozzle as well. Um, barrels, I have a Prometheus barrel just because, you know, I was, I was going all out. I bought the most expensive parts, the nicest parts. Prometheus barrels are excellent. Uh, let's see what else is left. Um, then you're left with externals, which is up to you. You know, whatever you want your gun to look like. Again, I would stick with um, TM spec, especially with the bodies. Uh, the rail systems are some guns. You know, I I don't know much about that. Just what you want, 
on the extra rolls for, from scratch builds. Okay? So there's just kind of quick my opinion and what I've learned from doing, because I've done, you know, upgraded and from scratch. Um, this from scratch build cost me about $1,300. Um, just go over quickly what I have. I have a Lonex gearbox, Radis CDS, Street Gear Set 14 in 1. I have a JG Blue Motor, 16 gauge wiring, MOSFET. Um, that's just piston, uh, Prometheus cylinder, Lonex uh, cylinder head, Lonex tappet plate, Lonex uh, air nozzle, Lonex um, hop up, Prometheus bucking, Prometheus barrel. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> and then the externals were crazy expensive. UBR stock was $175. GMP body was 150, rail system was 130, barrel was 30, uh, this flash hider and the silencer was 80, and then I have a and then I have a knockoff four grip on there, which doesn't do the gun justice. Uh, King Arms grip was 30, T1 was 60. So from scratch builds are expensive. Um, honestly, don't recommend doing it unless you just really want an awesome looking gun that's just crazy wild, expensive.